Hi, I'm Andy Goji of Investor Intel. We're here at PDAC 2018. I'm with Don Bubar of Avalon Advanced Materials. Welcome. Thanks, pleasure to be here. How's, uh, how's your PDAC going so far? Oh, it's a busy time. I'm trying to keep up with my schedule, but uh, it's a real good buzz here this year and uh, always a lot of fun. That's wonderful. Can you give us an update about your Separation Rapids project? Sure. So we've been making uh, steady progress towards our uh, goal of getting an initial phase one production facility uh, up and running within the next year so we can um, introduce our lithium products to the market. The approach we've taken to our lithium project is a little different from some of the other uh, players in the industry in that our resource offers us multiple different possibilities on lithium products to offer the market, mineral concentrates or derivative products for the battery industry. And so we are looking at uh, introducing a number of different possible products to the market and uh, find the, the right mix for us to create a solid business case on which to build our business going forward. So we're taking a stage development approach to um, uh, lithium and we think that's the, um, the ideal way to do it, knowing that these are not really commodities in the traditional sense of the term. These are especially chemical or mineral products that you really have to think of more as like a manufactured good where you need to define your market and then how you're going to make that efficiently to meet the, the requirements of the market, the product specifications, and deliver that at the best possible price. And so by starting with a relatively modest scale initial facility, you give yourself the opportunity to define those products and get them exactly right, then you scale up after that. And we want to build it at a scale that will allow us to create a small profitable business and then build on that profitable business to expand our product range and, uh, and the size of the operation. What's the chit chat like at PDAC this year about the lithium market? It was a pretty good buzz. I participated in a um, uh, investors exchange forum session this morning that was all on uh, lithium. It was um, much better attended than similar sessions I've participated in in the past. So pretty good sign that uh, investors are really interested in uh, lithium and looking for new opportunities. And for your shareholders, what can they expect in the next quarter or two from Avalon? Well, we're committed to that uh, development model I explained, so the key for us is to get the commitments from potential customers for these products that will justify raising the capital to put this plant uh, into production. So we're in ongoing discussions with a, a number of players out there that have expressed interest in working with us on it. So we're now uh, kind of hopefully getting close to uh, um, closing something that will allow us to then proceed with the next stages of development on the project. So I understand that you're still working on the East Kempville Tin Project in Halifax. Can you touch on that a little bit more for us, please? Yeah, the East Kempville Tin Project is kind of a hidden asset in our portfolio. It's one we've been working on uh, for many years. It's a brownfield site, a past producing tin mine actually in southwestern Nova Scotia near uh, Yarmouth. That was a producer in the 80s, when uh, initiated when tin prices were high, but closed prematurely when the price of tin fell quite dramatically in the late 1980s. And it's been a closed mine site ever since. And uh, we acquired mineral tenure to it over 10 years ago, actually, with a, a vision for potentially restarting operations there. And uh, we've got to the point now where we actually have uh, an opportunity to do that by applying a creative model that is essentially designed to rehabilitate the site but uh, do that in a way that actually makes a profit by processing the materials that were left on site to recover tin because tin prices are actually uh, pretty strong right now. And during the life of the operation uh, with the tin price declining, they stockpiled on the ore, all the ore that uh, did not meet the cutoff grade with the lower prices. There's six million tons of ore there that we can just start to treat, recover a tin concentrate from and um, do that profitably. 
and we've, so we've got a, a small scale development plan there with a potential capital investment of about $30 million we can get into production with a vision of actually making it a walkaway site, fully remediating the existing environmental liability, which is acid mine drainage related to all these waste materials and the stockpile that are on surface there with sulfides oxidizing. So it's, uh, we think we're pretty close now to actually um, being able to justify the investment with a number of partners to uh, move forward with that. And that could be a surprise for our shareholders in the next uh, year or so that we've actually got uh, another development project on the go. So Avalon's goal is to get into production at a small scale, uh, whichever project offers us that uh, opportunity soonest and build a platform for future growth based on small scale production. It's wonderful, so the shareholders have a lot to look forward to in 2018. Yes, they sure do. I think this is our year. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much for stopping by, Don. My pleasure.